So we got the pump all working, ready to go. Uh, check out that video how I did that. This thing was essentially trashed, but still savable. So I salvaged this pump, it does work now. Um, it came with a bunch of hoses and fittings. Luckily, it came with this piece, and we'll explain that. But this is what I got going on here. Um, this hose that came off was essentially in two pieces. All the plastic was like cracked off, and the thread was in there. This is what the end of it looked like right there, um, where the where the brake was. So I had to cut it clean. Unfortunately, I didn't have this extra length or any way to attach it, <clears throat> but I did have this extra hose. So don't throw out your old hose and your old fittings um, because I made it work. I have essentially the same length, but a little bit smaller tubing, which shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I did scrape back some of the dirt on this pump, and it says that it does 115 foot of of pump head which is nice which means it should be able to pump 115 feet into the air with clear water this is a clear water pump um, but with this oil this should definitely be able to do that length um, so this check valve on the end here is important because this is not a self priming pump this is a centrifugal pump um, and basically there's a disc almost like a fan on the inside that spins and it slings the water on the outside or the, the fluid on the outside raising the pressure of it <coughs> and then this tap off gets that higher pressure so it will not suck enough um, it won't provide enough suction to actually feed itself you have to have fluid inside the impeller before it'll work so this check valve what I'm gonna do and I, uh, I sized it up alongside these tanks and it is the perfect height that it goes down to about here. So what I'm going to do is slide that into the hole, into the bung hole in the end there, and this, that's what it's called. I'm going to reciprocate it until the fluid goes through the check valve and up into the pipe, into the into the uh, impeller. There's the neighbor cat. What's up neighbor cat? Meow. 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 Kitty kitty. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video real quick and set this up, and then we're going to plug it in and see what it does. I'm going to transfer from this barrel from this barrel to this barrel as a proof of concept, and then if that works, I'm going to uh, continue doing that to get all of these barrels and fluid off of the truck. So, when you're putting the motor back together, make sure that you install the rotor in the correct direction, because it was trying to pump backwards and it was not working but now it is working um, the check valve idea I don't think worked I had to uh, you know do the, the hillbilly siphon method and suck on the end of the hose make sure you clean that off first you never know what you're dealing with um, it's a little gummed up I thought I had it working pretty good that it, it would do that but um, it's a spring-loaded check valve so kind of difficult um, for it to actually push against that fluid because the fluid has to overcome the spring pressure. Uh, so I did reverse it, and now it is working. So let me pause this real quick, I'll plug it in, and show you guys the flow rate. So there we go, it's operating. Let me grab hold of this before it shoots out of the tank. Oop, a little bit of, little bit of shootage. That's the flow rate, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, this was a, a free motor, a free pump, if you will from Harbor Freight, um, so I guess it does stand the test of time, as long as you know how to fix it. So right now this bucket is full, this barrel is full. I was going to pump from this one because I thought it was more full, but you can see in there it's it's not at all. So I'm going to use this pump to transfer fluid off of my truck into lighter barrels that I have set up and ready to go to move. And uh, I guess that's it for now. I hope you guys found this informative. I uh, hope you have an outstanding day. I love you guys, and I'm out.